I'm standing here with a lot of uh, century owls on top of the federal building, right next to the so-called Sky Palace. This is the uh, penthouse retreat, former Premier Alison Redford. Her office had been sort of setting up as a uh, retreat for herself. It became a bit of a scandal as the cost mounted and became basically a symbol of the uh, excess entitlement of the Tory years. It uh, was rejigged into a very Spartan uh, meeting space. It was opened about a year ago. It was only at the start of 2016 that the construction permits lifted and the three boardrooms could be used. The main components of the penthouse were completed before the government called off the Premier's den project. The spending taps were shut off before the penthouse was furnished. So the government scratched together old mismatched chairs, plastic tables, and potted plants from government surplus. What was supposed to be the living room is now the main boardroom. The recessed bookcases remain empty except for a few old bound copies of Legislature of Luvia. One of the two bedrooms is now a smaller conference room. The main bedroom has now been converted into an informal sitting area with high back chairs and the old couch from Premier Redford's office. The end tables are also from her office. It includes a panoramic view of the downtown out to the far east end of the city. So far, the penthouse suite is basically unused and unloved. Premier Rachel Notley's office reports there have only been a couple of government meetings there and Notley's caucus says they don't plan to use it because of its notoriety and also because it's frankly weird having a boardroom meeting in a converted bedroom. For the Canadian Press, I'm Dean Bennett.